all notice the bad injectable jobs. The good ones are never noticeable. So these are my three big take home points for you to know how I make my injectables absolutely natural. One, make sure that not one feature is highlighted or enhanced to take care of the rest of the things on the face like a big cheekbone or a big lip. Even if I use one ml or two ml, I make sure tiny bits of changes all around the face which gives you an overall wow face. Number two, don't deviate too much from who you are, from your natural look. Yes, we can enhance a little, make you the best version of yourself, tweak your features, tweak your contour a little, but you don't have to look like a typecasted scale measured face, right? And number three is not too many interventions. Don't try and run after that every single line. Touching it too many times can deviate it very slowly, but a lot over the period which you may not know. So most important is to leave it natural and to know as a physician, as a dermatologist, when to say no to my patients, when to warn them when they're going overboard. I say more no than yeses for all the requests at my clinic.